six incredible cars from the Peterson Museum's Porsche Fact Exhibit. As part of the automaker's 70th anniversary blowout, Porsche teamed up with the venerable Peterson Museum for a large exhibit. Through 2018, visitors can take a breathtaking stroll through some of the brand's best moments, capturing a snapshot of what makes Porsche so special. We recently went behind the scenes before the exhibit opened, and picked out six not-to-miss P cars from the Porsche Fact exhibit. Bruce Myers Le Mans winning 1979 Porsche 935. For car collector and philanthropist extraordinaire Bruce Meyer, Le Mans is it. His sizable and very, very well curated collection includes some of the greatest cars to ever race at or win the French endurance race. One of the crown jewels of the collection is the Le Mans winning 1979 Porsche 935 K3, campaigned in 1979 under Kramer Racing. Despite the irreplaceable nature of the K3, Meyer's not shy about trolling the B-Wing 911 up into the public eye. We most recently saw the 935 at last year's Left Jekyll Porsche Palooza, and now you can see it at the Peterson Dot and early 911 Targa Sportomatic. Sure, the Porsche crest is indelibly linked to driving purity and rawness, but some drivers just want a comfortable cruiser that offers up as little driving effort as possible. Way, way before Porsche's excellent PDK transmission was available, and even before the first 964 rolled out with the Pronic, Porsche's fairly complex sportomatic gearbox was a customer's only hope for semi-automatic transmission in the 1960s and early 1970s. Sportomatic drivers still had to shift their own gears, but the addition of a complex vacuum system and Tabor converter meant that pesky clutch pedal disappeared. It wasn't the fastest nor the most robust transmission offered, but the beautiful yellow Targa on display at the Peterson reminds us you don't have to daily drive a GT3 Cup to experience 911 Magic.2000 Carrera GT prototype. Before Jerry Seinfeld drove the production car for us in 2004, Porsche wowed the world with the wildly exotic supercar concept that looked less like a soap-shaped 911 and more like a land speed record car wearing a Porsche crest from alternate future past. Seinfeld was so impressed with the production car, he purchased the concept straight from Porsche in 2007, only letting it go at public sale in 2016. Now, plucked from the hallowed halls at Conepa, the prototype is on display at the Peterson.1987 Porsche 928 H50. Don't act so surprised, the idea of a Porsche sedan was gestating in Stuttgart long before the Panama hit our collective consciousness in 2009. I wrote about the history of the four-door Porsche a few years ago, but seeing one of the obscure design studies in person was a treat. This rather bulbous 928 H50 was an evolution of the previously existing Porsche 942, a length the 928 presented to Ferry Porsche on his 75th birthday in 1984. Building on the LWB, the H50 added a pair of RX 8S carriage doors, allowing increased access to the rear seats. Unfortunately, any production plans were scrapped when the plug was pulled on the entire 928 lineup in 1995. Porsche Type 64. Before the 356, the Porsche Spirit was born with the incredibly voluptuous Type 64. The flowing bodied lines had mostly VW Beetle components, relying mainly on the coupe's impressive aerodynamics to win a race between Berlin and Rome in 1939. This particular Type 64 is a replica on loan from the fabulous Prototype Museum in Hamburg, but considering only three Type 64s were ever made, and this black coupe utilizes genuine 64 components, it's as good as the real thing.